You know she wants a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got the toys. She been coming to a ride Roll myself a J and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spend what you wanna Be who you wanna be We well, I'm stunner Till I die Just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Yeah, my baby, it's an action These days, no, my age It's be blasting Then I need to make love This shit might drive you mad And it pretty make love But this my shit ain't no bad Bloody, bloody murder Friday, May 10th. It's 6.32. I literally just got home from work. Um, quick little story time. Um, it's currently Shark Week and I am sick. So, who's really winning in life? Oh, like I was saying. Um, yeah, so my girlfriend just told me that we had cookies. Because I want cookies, and I called her and asked her to, to give me some cookies to bring me some, and I just checked my freezer, and I don't have any cookies in there for me to make. Where are the cookies, babe? <coughs> they went in the freezer. If I call her and tell her we didn't have no cookies, she would have, she would have, she would have, she would have got on me. She really would have got on me. Like, are you really slow? Yes, I am, babe. Sorry, love you. Anyway, I'm about to make me some cookies. These are the best. If you have not had these, um, sorry to tell you. That your life is a little boo boo. Anyway, I'm about to make me some cookies. Let me turn you guys over here so I can talk. Can I talk to you? So, we have ex exciting news i'm pretty sure you guys all clicked on the video for the news um you guys literally i cry every day about it i am 
a dog mom, guys. I'm a doggy mom. It makes me want to cry every day. Like, okay, let me just give you. So we had him for a week. His name is Cairo. Um, he is a Kavapoo. For anybody wondering, um, he's a small baby. He's a small baby. He's very energetic and then very lazy at times. He loves to take naps and sleep, but he also likes to bark at my feet when I have socks on. I don't know what his problem is with socks. Um, he's very, very smart. He's already pretty much potty trained. He knows when to use the bathroom, where not to use the bathroom. He's very vocal too. Um, me and baby just been navigating this this puppy mom thing because like literally she does not like dogs or she was, she didn't like anybody else's dogs and we got him and she's in love with him obviously I'm in love with him she got him for me so technically he's like my dog but he's our dog but he's like my dog. Um, he's currently not here right now because, as I said, I went to work. We weren't going to leave him at home by himself, so he's been going with baby to work. He's going to get his shots tomorrow, his second second set of shots tomorrow. Um, and he's just the best baby. Like, he is so smart and so cute. Um, if you don't know what a Kabapu is, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a um, miniature poodle or toy toy poodle but yeah we have a baby we've had him for a week now um and he's well adjusted he loves it here he has so many toys already babe's been buying him toys and toys and toys and blankets and everything but he's such a good puppy um I'll show him more obviously when probably when he gets home or tomorrow but it's just been great like we've been a little a little stressed out about it because obviously this is our first baby together our first puppy and we are in a new apartment as I was saying like babe doesn't she didn't really do too well with, with dogs or with animals in general so that's been a big adjustment for her i have a little bit more of the patience because i grew up around dogs around puppies around animals in general so i have a little bit more patience for them um she's just trying to figure it out and navigate it she's had a dog before but she she don't really fuck with the animals you know so yeah that's been the whole thing. So, everything's been going pretty smooth. I feel like it's made it a lot easier because he is so smart and he is pretty much potty trained. Like, when he has to go to the bathroom, he goes straight to the potty pad and does his business and moves on with his life. Um, we're still trying to figure out the feeding schedule for him. My baby, Cairo. I miss him. I can't wait till she brings him home. But he's going to be ample. I really want to go to sleep because I do not feel good. Like cramping, bleeding. I told y'all a shark week and congested. I don't know if it's allergies or I'm sick. I feel like it started off as allergies and now I'm sick. So yeah, that's been a whole thing. Um, but yeah, now I'm making me some cookies. So. Those should be great. In other news, I ordered more stuff from Amazon. Small stuff, small stuff for the puppy. Um, so I ordered him a like playpen thing for a baby to take to work with her. And then I also bought him um, a grooming kit. So it has like the scissors, like the little shaver things and all the attachments for like shaving him in general grooming him just like a whole little kit so i'll unbox that with you guys later i'm a dog mom 
and I love it. Like, he's so fun. He's so cute. He's the cutest little thing ever. Like, he's so cute. He's so stinking cute. He's just the cutest. And he's so affectionate. Like, when he not tripping and got the zoomies, like, he's so cute and so affectionate. Like, he just wants to cuddle. He just wants to be rubbed. He's just the cutest. I don't know. More updates. Um, first of all, McKenna posted a video, so we're on the way to watch it. Like, we're running. We're running to watch it right now. I also posted a video, if you guys did not see that already. Well, I posted a video today. This is going to be... The video I'm talking about is it's already going to be posted by the time you guys see this video. So, just know, get caught up with the content because we're moving quick. Every Friday at 6 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, if you don't know what PST stands for. Um, I post the vlog. So, yeah, make sure you guys are staying up to date with that and that posting schedule. But, um, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in the living room. And if you're wondering where my couch is, I'm going to tell you. So, I do not know if you guys remember going back to the very first, very first, very first movie vlog that I posted. Very, very, very first movie vlog. Like us packing up the old apartment, putting stuff in the U-Haul, all that good stuff. <clears throat> if you go back to that vlog um, and you go to the portion where, or you go to the segment where we went to the furniture store and we were looking for this couch that baby really wanted and we were gonna go further out to get it but we found a place um, closer to us that sold the couch like they they have the option either they can make the couch themselves and it would be a little cheaper or they can get it from the actual um, the actual company they can order it from the actual company and then they'll deliver it whatever so you guys remember <laughs> that I was not feeling it I was like mm. I didn't really speak too much on it because, you know, the, the power of the tongue. I didn't really speak too much on it, but we did talk about it and we've been thinking of everything that could possibly go wrong. And basically, it's just been a hassle. We moved in and we didn't have the couch. We were, maybe was in contact with the, with the person um, that you know, we spoke to at the store, like, hey, like, you know, this is the couch that we want, this is the color we want. We asked them when we're going to get the couch. They said six to eight weeks. So we're thinking, okay, that's around end of April, maybe beginning of May. So fast forward, she gets in contact with the actual company that sells the couch, the actual, the actual company, like not the third party, the, like, you know, the actual legit company that sells that specific couch um and they're like no like we're not in contact with them like we don't know nothing, nothing about that hold that i'm looking at my cookies So I wait for them to cool down. Yeah, so she got in contact with the actual company. They ended up telling her, no, we don't have no type of affiliation with that, with that store, whatever, whatever. They ended up calling her, texting her, I want to say like a few weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago. Like, um, you got in contact with the store, like that's gonna ruin this, this, and this. Like, don't don't basically tell her not to reach out not to say nothing to the company like it was given like such like if you are an affiliate with them and they know who you are and they do business with you why can't she double check you know so that was the whole thing um she ended up getting a call two days ago no 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 last week last week she ended up calling last week and them saying that 
the couch is going to be delivered sometime this week um around mother's day so yeah that's a thing um i'll update you <laughs> i'll update you guys more but it's been crazy so we've been chilling with our little uh lawn chair not lawn chairs what are these called lawn chairs right the little foldable ones yeah whatever we've been chilling on them um we really don't do we really don't stay in the living room that much anyway so yeah it really doesn't make a difference but yeah that's the story with the couch i'll give more updates soon but i'm about to turn on mckenna i'm about to eat my cookies and yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip officially toodaloo Some people taking the Tesla had depression, suicidal thoughts, or weight loss. Upper respiratory tract infection. It's a full breakdown of the itinerary, everything we're doing, the days we're doing it, the best days. We're going to give you some everything in the book. So, I mean, so just walk down to the park. You might think your kid is old enough to just be walking, but they might want the comfort to be able to. And another thing. I don't think I introduced myself. I do love this light right here. Like, it's giving. Anyway. Um, hi. I'm Imani. Welcome or welcome back if you're your returning subscriber. And as always, thank you guys for clicking on my videos and watching. I love you guys. I love you. I just ate my cookies. I, I didn't just eat my cookies. I inhaled those cookies I'm gonna be honest about it I'm gonna be honest like I literally inhaled those cookies I'm gonna just chill and continue watching this vlog I was supposed to go out on the patio and get the toolbox and stuff inside the storage but I really don't want to do that right now bye Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Like a good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Go. Good boy. Sit. Sit.
Saturday, May 11th. It is 7.31. And we're up with Cairo eating. He went potty this morning. And now it's time for him to eat. If y'all can hear him in the background running around. Today he gets shots. Um, I think we're supposed to be there about like 9. When I wake up in the morning, I let him use the bathroom and feed him. I like to give him like 30, 35 minutes with his food. And then when he completely shows me he's not interested in it anymore, like he, he doesn't want it more, then I'll put it up on the counter. We're training him how to sit and stay like when we put the food down. So as you guys seen, I go over there with the bowl. He sits, 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 wait for it. And then when I say okay, then he can eat. Because he's a puppy right now, but I don't want him to get in the habit of being like super hyper, like when it's time for him to eat. But you guys are gonna spend the weekend with me and Cairo and babe, I think she has to go to work later, but to unbox his um, grooming stuff. Trying to be sick and on your period with a puppy, it's not for the faint of heart. Hey vlog, so we just got in the car and we are on the way to get somebody their second set of shots. He's gonna be so mad at us, but it just has to happen. Um, but yeah, so I will <clears throat> try to get some footage when we get there and of the whole process. I guess. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. You don't have no idea. You okay? Five point four. The boy. You can't want that. Okay. And then I'm gonna sleep in right behind you and just take a hold of him, okay? Okay. And then you can stand right over there and um, look at. <laughs> just so you can look at you. All right. What are you doing? The boy. Good job. He's looking at everything. <laughs> Like Karen, right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, some big chompers coming in. Does look good. That tail good just job. be wavy. It yeah. just like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a deep wormer. Ooh, little banana smoothie. Ooh, it's like, oh, that was kind of weird, huh? That was weird. All right, one quick poke. Oh, this is my baby. <laughs> okay. Might hear a little squeak. It's a little needle. Done. Good boy. Easy peasy. Oh, that's a good boy, Kyle. You just did a great job. <laughs> good boy. Right. This last one goes in the nose. This is a Bordetella, the kennel cough. Just takes one drop. There we go. Good job, buddy. That's it. Good boy, Kyle. All done. That's a good boy. Oh, you. it's a good baby. Oh. Um, oh, we were also supposed to be getting the nail trimming. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's a good boy. He like, hey. My assistant here holds Cairo again. Like, he's just trying that. to lick you so <laughs> bad. Cabin poos are so cute. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. So something I recommend, just to get him kind of used to nail trims. Um, oh, no. Oh, you're okay. 
is you can play with his feet at home. So you're like watching TV. I'm not even touching you. I'm not even touching you. What? You can just keep playing with those feet at home, give yeah. him a treat. You're all right. It's okay, Cairo. You're all right. Good job, Cairo. Mm -hmm. So that colored part, yeah, that pink part, mm -hmm. that's the part that has the blood in it. So yeah. anything past that blood is okay to trim off. Okay. Hey vlog. So right now we're in PetSmart. Um, my baby is going through something. Baby is going through something. I know. That one's cute too. Yes. 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 That means yes. That means good dog. I'm trying to vlog and, you know, show you guys everything that we're getting. But I think I'll probably just do a haul when we get back home. Okay, so. So, 
you know, we thought this was cute. This was cute. And it's gray and brown. I'm trying to, okay. So y'all know my favorite colors. I stick with the basics, the neutrals, whatever. This is still in that category, but y'all know I've been feeling gray a while lately. So the gray was just an extra cute little touch. So we went ahead and got this. I don't remember the price on 44. This 44? Okay, well, maybe that was 44. So, yeah, not too bad. You know, Pet Smart, they always be trying to, they be trying to get you with the minerals. Okay, but yeah, so we got this. Next on the list, we got Cairo, another puppy bed, another dog bed. So, the thing is, Babe takes Cairo to work with her. As of right now, he's gonna slowly start being weaned to just stay at home and being in the house by himself, but he's still a puppy, so you know, you know how that goes. But we got two other um, like portable play pens, dog bed, dog play pens for him on Amazon. We got one large one, but she ended up not liking that because it was like just too big for him. So she ordered two more um, off Amazon, which are a little smaller. So she just got two other little cute dog beds to go inside. So just he's comfy in them. Um, so we ended up getting this. This is $14.99. I think this is really cute. And the color is really cute. I'm trying to get a little bit into the colors with the puppy. Because I know Eric, you know, it's a puppy. He got he to have some stuff that's like different colors. He can't just have black and white, and, which he could. But yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. This was the other dog bed that we got for him. Just another small one. It's really cute and soft. I really, really like this one. Next, we ended up getting him a reversible dog harness. This is the brand Lucy & Co. It's a size small. We're going to see if he fits into this because we tried to get him. He already has it on right now, but we got him a little collar. And we're thinking that we can just get small. But when we put the small on him, the small collar on him, we needed to go and get an extra small. So we got a size small with the harness. He is furry, and I know he's going to get bigger fast, so I feel like the small will be okay for now. Um, but when we put it on him, you guys will see. And it's so cute. It has, like, little planets on it. And it's a whole bunch of different colors. Still in the neutral kind of range. Not too, not really too much, so... I really like it. I really think it was cute. And it's reversible if I didn't mention it already. So one side has little planets and the other side has um, stripes. Same colors, just different pattern. The next thing we have is a hand woven feeding placemat. Um, this is the brand Nate and Jeremiah. Never heard of this brand before, but we thought this placemat was really, really cute. Um, to match his bowl, which I'll show you guys in just a second what his bowls are going to look like. Um, but yeah, so this is the placemat. Really, really cute. So, since it's already all together, we ended up getting a um, container for his food that's small enough to fit inside his little uh, area in the cabinet where all his stuff is. But we also ended up getting these stackable water and food bowls. They're so cute and they're gonna go so well with the little placemat. One just says eat and one says drink. So, so cute. And you can stack them so if we wanted to put these up in the um, cabinet as well, they would fit. Like I said, this is the food container. We're gonna fill this up soon, probably after I'm done doing this. So that's that. Next, we just have a bag of some goodies. We're gonna hurry to go for the bag. First thing is some Puppy 81 Vitamin Bites. Um, there's 90 in here. They're just little soft chews. They're good for a bone, bone and joint, digestion, heart health, heart health, antioxidants, skin and coat, liver health, immune system, and performance. Um, and they're specifically for puppies, so. I thought that was good. We're gonna see if he likes those and see if it is something. I guess. Next, we ended up getting a little food scooper for his food. 
Um, he doesn't eat that much as of now. So we just got one, it was, it's one cup and it also measures to half a cup. So that was really, really, really convenient, I thought, just to do one little scoop and that's all you get, buddy. Um, another thing I thought was really, really nice, and I've always wanted to use one of these if I have my own dog or when I have my own dog, um, it's little clickers. It's a training clicker. Um, so it's just like, um, what is it called? Like a positive, positive, not reinforcement. I'm not, I can't think of the word right now. But you just click it when they do a good job. So the click could mean yes or good boy, whatever. But eventually they catch on to it and they learn. So you don't have to verbally always say yes or good boy or go. You know? Um, this is the Top Paw brand as well. And I think this was only like five bucks. I do remember that. Next in the bag, we got the Banana Boat Cooling and Refreshing Wipes. It's with cucumber and aloe. There's about 50 in here. Um... Y'all know the puppies be getting hot outside, so we went ahead and got one of these for when they're outside. And this is going to keep them cool and refreshed while they're outside, because y'all know it's getting hot. We ended up getting him a tag as well. I'm sure you guys seen those clips already. Um, and then, last but not least in this bag, is the um, healthy edible little bone puppy bones something just something for him to bite on um little treats and these are roast beef flavor turkey and apple flavor and bacon flavor so we're gonna see if he likes these they're small and they're just like the perfect size for him and they're so cute last but not least for the little puppy we got him some different food so the brand that we got is the heels uh science diet we were talking to this lady who went to go get his shot this morning, and she was just telling us better food brands to get um, for dogs and, like, which one she used for her animals. And she said this brand, and I'm most familiar with this brand. I didn't know the other brand that she was talking about, but I knew what this brand was. So we ended up getting this, um, and we got the puppy one, obviously. Um, and then this flavor is the chicken and brown rice so hopefully he likes this and that is pretty much all we got from Petsmart. I hope y'all enjoyed this little haul and I'm so excited that we have a little puppy because he's so cute right now he's sleeping because he's over after he got them shots okay he is over it and then we keep accidentally touching the spot and he's sore so he just pissed he's pissed um but yeah so this is what we got from the store and yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip Shadow my mark of the New York the show. Now my picture is Chanel. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little baby. In the meantime, okay, vlog. So, so far, this is what his little cabinet is looking like. I'm gonna rearrange everything a little bit better later i just want to get some of the stuff or most of the stuff in there already um so up here you are seeing i just pour his puppy food in here and then his little scooper and that fit perfectly right here here we have his um potty pads and then down here we have his shampoo i have the birth bees oatmeal shampoo and then also the birth bees tearless two-in-one shampoo and conditioner um this right here 
if you have a puppy, dogs, animals, anything, you need to you need to get this. This right here is so good. Um, it's the Angry Orange Odor Eliminator with natural orange oil. Um, it's for multi-surface, everyday use. It's like literally instant with the smells. If he goes on his potty pad, we will get the potty pad up, spray the ground underneath where the potty pad was, wipe it up, the whole environment area, eliminate it, it eliminates the odor completely and then you just wait for the floor to completely dry and then put another potty pad down um so that's what we've been doing for him this works so good so next in the back i have his little um refreshing wipes that i showed you guys um in the hall and then he has this his little toothbrush his little um oral care and then I have his little vitamins right here. Next, we have all his treats um, and stuff lined up. And then these are the new treats that I just showed you guys in the hall, the bones. Um, there's some more stuff that we're gonna add in here and then just all the way up there, you guys can't see, but the little red cup that I have, that's for his bath, when he takes a bath and just to scoop the water on him until we can take him to our doggy spa because we do have a, pup, a dog spa um, in our building. So when he gets all his shots and he's able to go into um, highly like traffic areas or like areas where other animals are without getting sick, then we'll take him there. But until then, we just have his little soap here and then his little cup that I just rinse the water, I mean rinse the soap off him with. Um, and then his other, puppy child is up there as well that he was using before um and then there's an empty space up there i think i'm gonna put his old dog bowl and stuff up there that's pretty much it for right now um i'm gonna go do the laundry or finish up laundry change in the loadout and then i have to go in our storage and get the tools because i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to do my curtains finally we'll see um but yeah so i'll see you guys in the next clip bye hey y'all so i'm currently in my room more you guys can see the ladder is up it's currently 40 now you guys see that picture it's just so cute this is like my favorite picture right now my two babies anyway it's 2 40. um i'm about to try to figure out how to do my track curtains I know I tried to explain it to you guys a few walls ago, but this is what the track looks like. require use a hacksaw to cut the curtain track to the desired length who just got a hacksaw on hand that's what I'm wondering Okay, y'all, so, so far I was able to break it. I just cut it some, and then I was able to just snap it. So that's what it looks like. So, it says draw a line along the ceiling where the curtain is to be installed. Mount the ceiling brackets with the provided anchors. If just it's a drywall and not a stud. 
so. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mommy. Keep touching that shot. Hi. Good afternoon. Did you go potty? I'm back. My baby, he's just so sad. You ever wonder? Yeah, do you ever wonder what he might be going through on his own then? The demons that he's facing alone. I hate though sometimes I can't go home, man. It just ain't the same on the phone, no. But everybody's gotta go, don't they? Yes, we do. So if you need a hero, Hey vlog, so I just finished putting up the curtains. I love how they turned out. I love the little, um, like, in the corner moment. Um, and that's probably where I'm gonna have my olive tree um, over here in this corner, which I think is gonna be really, really cute. Everything is gonna start to come together soon. But these are the curtains. They sweep the floor a tad bit. I didn't want them completely dragging, but they do hang down and touch the floor a tad bit. I feel like the, the color of the curtains was perfect. And yeah. So that is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to try to get some pictures of it to insert um, with just like better lighting because this is like the lighting is not doing it justice like at all. So this is what it's looking like really really cute i love and yeah your mom kick you out the room your mom kick you out the room
vlog. So, you guys see me earlier. It's currently 2 or 3 now. Um, I didn't formally do a introduction for today, but yeah, it's Sunday, May 12th. It's Mother's Day. I got up. We did some things for the puppy. We finished hanging up with the curtain and um, made a Mother's Day breakfast because me and babe are dog moms now. So it's our first Mother's Day. Um, now I'm about to hop in the shower. We went back to sleep after we ate breakfast because uh, we just needed some extra little, extra little teas. But I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower. Um, do my hair, get my life together, and then I will see you guys when I get out. Okay, y'all, well, so I just finished with my skincare and I took a shower, all the things, and I'm gonna do my hair. But I wanted to come on here and tell y'all a funny story. So y'all remember last weekend I had, what was last weekend? Yeah, last weekend I had that already. I had on my green romper jumpsuit thing from Target. Hair was done, I'm showing y'all the lip combo. Yeah. Why did I never even wear that um, romper? Literally, after I filmed that, I had to go pee, right? With pee, mind you, I had already put my lotions on, my oils on, my legs looking glistening and good, right? I went to the bathroom, forgot that I had just put all my oils and stuff on. Got it all over my jumpsuit and y'all know it's green it was like oil all over the back the sides whatever of the rubber so i was pissed like i was so upset because i was really looking forward to wearing it that day with that being said we're going to try this again i washed it and it looked like it looks like the stuff came out. So. We're going to try it again. And I was debating on whether I wanted to wear my hair down. Because. That's how I was going to wear it. Last weekend but. Hey vlog! It's some time later. Um, I don't remember the last thing I was recording. I think I was doing my hair. So we've been sitting here chilling, hanging out with Cairo. And I wanted to open up his clicker because, well, first of all, backtrack. Um, I don't know if I got everything I wanted to get inside the clip, but we have to cut his hair and I got the little trimmer that I showed you guys um, earlier in the video for his hair because I want to do some like, I want to try to do some and babe's going to probably do it mostly because that's her specialty. She does hair and she works with, you know, the, the barber stuff, the tools and all that. So I'm pretty sure that's more of her alley. So I'm gonna leave that to her, but I do want to kind of learn how to do a little bit of it just so I can do the grooming myself. But 
Um, we do want to take it to the groomers, um, you know, consistently or whatever. When it's time for him to go, he still has to get another set of his shots, and then he'll be okay to be outside in in other um, highly trafficked areas that other pets are in, and like go to his doggy spa and the groomers and all that type of stuff. But he has to have his other set of shots. He got his second. He had his second set yesterday. Um, and then June 8th, I believe, is the day he gets his last set. And then he'll be okay to be out freely. Just had to sit on the floor with him and calm him down so she's able to trim the hair out of his eyes. Then we also had to, well, they also had to um, trim his little butt hairs because when he goes poop and stuff, like, that gets, like, on his butt hairs like it gets stuck on there so she just trimmed his little butt hairs and yeah he did so good he did very very good um it took him a minute because you know the sound of the little shaver thing little clippers he was not he was not enjoying that but i feel like the more we do it he's gonna get used to it and i'm glad that we're starting now that he's younger um but yeah so it's been, a, it's been a cool little time with him. He's doing so good for a puppy. He's very, very smart. He knows how to sit. He knows how to lay down. Um, he knows his name, but I feel like he just doesn't want to listen sometimes. Um, even when sitting down and laying down, he doesn't want to listen sometimes. Uh, but he's doing very, very good. And I feel like by the time he's like, I don't know, for five months, I feel like he's going to be great. Um, we trying to work on, like when we set his food down, tell him to sit and wait so he's not jumping at the bowl while we sit it down. Um, basically just working on patience with him. Um, and then just trying to get him to recognize cues that we give him and listen. I do want a well-trained dog that's going to listen to you know our commands and things that we, we want him to do we've been working with him it's been a process we're trying to get him on a good schedule as far as sleeping and eating at that point but long story short he's a very good puppy very 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 good those are just the small little updates that we have for him um if i can think of anything else if you guys want to know any other information about him specifically his breed um Feel free to comment down below and let me know any questions that you have. Some things I'm still researching, so I don't know everything right now. But, you know, I want to learn as much as I can about my puppy and his breed. Um, and, like, what they like. I can't wait to venture off into feeding him different things and seeing if he likes different things as far as, like, fruits and veggies and all that good stuff. So, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. But, for right now, we're doing good. We're doing good. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably see you guys in the next clip. I don't... Hey, vlog. So, hey. It's currently 5.16. Um, I'm about to do something a little quick to my face. We're going to go visit my family. And, yeah, I'm not doing a full face. I'm probably just going to do brows, really. Hey. Cairo's in here, so, yeah. Okay, well. I just wanted to show the ambiance a little bit of the room. And now we can end the vlog off, so. <laughs> I can't wait until I have everything in here that I want in here. And it just really comes together. But as of now, I love my curtains. Like, you guys can just see it. Like, it just looks so good. The curtains just look so good. Now, I'm still debating if I want to move this vanity back over here in front of the window because the lighting. Like, I feel like it would be just much better. But, yeah, that'll be the end of this vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And, yeah, gotta go.